so today we are going to uh, talk about a very special program that we are going to start very soon but before that i would like to ask one question how many of you are going to appear in upsc prelims 2024 raise your hands okay how many of you are very confident for gs okay so you definitely need to hear ma'am ma'am please yeah good morning so i'll not take much of your time so i am kritika faculty of history i teach gs history here and history optionals as well so i just thought i'll quickly brief you about the qep program of history see uh, students from across because there are some students who are my students who are sitting here my gs students but some you might have studied your ancient medieval art and culture your modern whatever facts you would have studied so far but upsc is not going to ask you facts can you stay quiet but again when we launch this qep program what am i going to do so i'll be handling the ancient medieval art and culture part so within 4 days i'll be completing the entire ancient medieval art and culture 4 days yeah 4 days so ancient medieval art and culture the fourth day would be current affairs classes on history so i am not going to teach anything there it will be a quick fix revision it's like in short i tell we are going to add on some current affairs there and i am going to teach you some concepts there so if you have say for example if you have any doubts on sanchi stupa i am not going to teach you the stupa but before i start every topic i give a small glimpse about that topic let's take indus valley i will be giving a 10 minutes a fast revision on indus valley then we go on to the current affairs then we go on to the pyq then the discussion like that we keep doing the entire topics of ancient medieval art and culture the last class will be the final class of myself which will be entirely the current affairs part and i would be teaching you about the do's and don'ts for prelims what to do for prelims because now the pattern has changed completely if you have four options let's take it i ma'am i am comfortable with a i know it's b but i do not know whether c and d is there or not for that i would be teaching you how to use a trick only on history this trick will apply only in history so you can't apply it to other subjects let me tell you that also so you can't say ma'am taught me i will apply it in polity you will get zero getting it so you have to why because it's a static subject it's a conceptual subject history once you revise it's going to stay with you so people students who are wishing to join the qep program just thorough your basics and then come don't come with the feel that okay ma'am would teach me i will not teach you anything there let me be very clear it's not teaching it's add on so because one year of history current affairs as of today as of today i've got 60 issues with me imagine 60 issues i have to teach you that so getting it to so the fourth class will be the last day would be that i will be connecting it with the concept so for that do your basics rightly and come so all the very best please students who wish to join i'll see you in the qep program thank you thank you so much